In the new overpass for Counter-Strike 2, the default Heaven Smoke is blocked by the metal supports of the overpass. Greetings, I, the War Owl greets you. This is the update to Counter-Strike 2 that I have been waiting for. We have our first completely remade map from the ground up. It's DE Overpass. We all knew this was coming. It looks fantastic. On a macro level, it's played the same, but the devil is in the details, and I'm not too thrilled about some of the details. We'll get to that. We also have Vertigo, but this one is along the same lines as Dust2 Mirage Nuke. It's just a port of the same map from Global offensive with the new lighting, not very interesting. And it's only available in the casual game mode that nobody plays, unless you really like showing those bots who's boss. For game modes, we have the introduction of Wingman, which is the 2v2 competitive. This is confirmation that they're going to be bringing over game modes from Global Offensive. We just saw that in the update, there were a few models snuck in there that we saw on the demolition maps in the past, so I predict we'll see the demolition game mode. Honestly, we could have left that one behind. I'd much rather that they reorganize the game modes and make a completely new system than bring over the old crap that nobody plays anyway. This is the opportunity for Counter-Strike to reinvent itself. Keep the core gameplay that makes Counter-Strike great, everything else I think is okay to change. And if they want to add a bunch of game modes, especially to the limited test, they're gonna have to send out more invites, otherwise we're gonna have long wait times. It seems like that's what they're doing though. You might actually have access to Counter-Strike 2 and not know it at the end of this video, I will explain how you can check. The only significant new feature update is the secondary fire hold option. If repeat is set to true, it functions like global offensive. What this means is that when you hold the right mouse button, it'll keep doing the action. With a sniper rifle, it'll cycle through all the zooms. With a Glock or FAMAS, it'll cycle burst fire on and off. And with the revolver, it doesn't do anything. If you set repeat to false, you have to press the right mouse button again every time to do the new actions instead of just holding it down. The weird thing is nades. With repeat set to false, you can no longer hold right mouse button to toss a nade with less power or modify the power you want to toss with. It just instantly drops the nade. I know that players were making custom binds to do this, so you'd press one button on your keyboard and just launch a flash out like if you're running away from an enemy. Maybe this is a way to introduce that as an official feature, which I'm all for. Personally, I'm going to play with repeat set to true, how it is in Global Offensive, so I can spam burst fire on my Glock during freeze time to annoy my teammates. They get so mad. Finally, we take a trip to Overpass. I'm gonna be going over all of the functional differences between the Global Offensive version and this one. Monster Butt. Performance-wise, you are going to get less frames in CS2 than Global Offensive, but I'm not seeing frame drops or any sort of performance issues in CS2. It's actually pretty well optimized. It's looking like Global Offensive is more CPU bottlenecked and CS2 is more GPU bottlenecked. To show what I mean, this system is a new i9-13900K and an old RTX 2080 Super. Notice, twice as many frames in Global Offensive. If you play on low graphics like most competitive players, you will probably be fine with performance. I did this at maximum graphics settings to prove a point. Let's start at T-Spawn and walk through the map. You have a new walkway thing in T-Spawn, pointless. We still have a completely open skybox. I always love that. You can smoke A site from T-Spawn. I don't know why you would want to do that, but you can. On the way to B site, there's a bunch of stuff here. It looks like you can jump up on it like you can in Global Offensive to give you a different angle when lurking monster. But now there's an invisible wall blocking you. I have never been a fan of this. It reduces the readability of the game. If all that stuff, all the junk everywhere doesn't have a gameplay purpose, it shouldn't be so prominently in the gameplay area. Get it out of there. Utility throws seem more difficult. Like I mentioned in the intro, there's a metal beam that blocks a lot of the well-known smokes to heaven. We're just gonna have to find alternatives. It's still possible. For heaven from water, this is the one I throw a lot. Line up to the exact same point and then just move down a little bit. Easy peasy. I think this gap here is an improvement because in Global Offensive, it was a pixel gap. To even know that it's there and how to use it, you gotta watch it tutorial on YouTube, but now it's super obvious. It, it's so that old people like me with slow reflexes can still hit my shots. At short, there's a new thing that you can jump up on. It gives you vision over box to barrels. I actually like this new angle. It adds some new dynamics to the position. I think it needs to be two units higher and then it'd be perfect. B site is kind of a mess. It's difficult to stand on the railing and move around. Some jerk left their bratwurst on the bomb site. It's just annoying. It blocks your vision 
position or it obscures a player head. Not a fan. Clean up your mess. This is such an important spot and, and now there's just trash in the way. The wall is a little taller, so you can't jump strafe here to see the entrance to the water as well. And yeah, there's just flat out leaks in the geometry. Check out this one way angle under here so I can see through the top, but you can't see back down. There's this new red wheelbarrow, which you can use to get better angles from water. You can strafe onto it without stepping up or jumping from the right side, but not the left. I think this is a place that people will actually play, and I like this new angle. As we go B to A site, the door no longer has glass. I like it better with the glass, so you actually have a chance to check the spot. Now it's it's even more of a, a hidey hole. There's some awkward geometry on the way to A site. There was in Global Offensive. This is something that could have been improved and could have been cleaned up. At A site, there used to be a goofy step up at the truck. That's been fixed now. It's smooth. I think this is a good change. Yes, the Olaf Meister graffiti is intact, and we have a new one commemorating the Olaf boost. Now we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's go back to T-Spawn and let's head towards A site. Again, we have some stuff that looks like you can jump on it, but you can't. This is a huge pet peeve of mine, and it's all over the map. I've been giving Counter-Strike 2 praise for what you see is what you get, but in the case of Overpass, that is just not the case. Down Connector, the big change is that the pipes have been moved a little bit, and the new angle is really awkward. It perfectly blocks vision. It's somehow perfectly annoying. It needs to be moved down a little bit so players can see through the more open part when they're shooting. When you're standing up, you should be able to see straight to where the enemy head is, and when you're ducking, you should be able to see straight to where the enemy is. T-spawn to A is probably my favorite part of the map. You can see the angles here are completely different, and they removed that goofy fast step up. Another good change. One thing that they've done a great job on here is smoothing out the floor collisions. This is throughout the entire map. I haven't found anywhere where you get the awkward step ups. Everything is very gradual ramps. At playground, there's this pixel spot where you can watch a long push. I really don't like spots like this. You gotta plug up the gap. It feels really unfair for a player who's pushing out long. It's easier to spot check from the slide because you no longer bump your head on the invisible ceiling. I like that. What's that make you think of? Bratwurst. So that's where all the brats are from. The early Maltov still works. I feel like all the angles in this whole area, bathroom included, are much smoother. Popping the balloons is much more satisfying. The French tourists are gone. See, when I don't find stuff to whine about, I just kind of screw around and look at the new stuff. They finally textured this fence. In Global Defensive, this fence had a texture, but they removed the texture from the game without changing the fence. So it literally has no texture. We found this while making one of the mods for my videos. I'm not going to elaborate, but it could be used used for exploiting. I told them about it, they never fixed it, and I guess now that Counter-Strike Global Offensive is going bye bye and that version of Overpass is, uh, is Dunyan Rings, it doesn't matter. So my script says, oh, they have a box so you can self-boost to the flowers easy, but uh, I guess they removed it while I was recording because I boot up the game and it's gone. I liked it. I liked being able to self-boost easier and thought it was a good change, but apparently a lot of people felt otherwise. Important change to a site, Left dice is wall bangable, but the center no longer is. I really like this. It makes it much more obvious where you can wall bang. It's not some secret knowledge that you have to learn by watching Pro CS or a YouTube video. New overpass looks great. I'm a big fan of the visual style. It just needs to get cleaned up a bit. Here's my paradigm. If it's in the play area, it should be purposeful to the gameplay. Visual flourishes should only serve to augment the gameplay experience. Now watch me 1v5 retake to win the game. That was wild. If you haven't got access to the limited test yet, try verifying integrity of game files for Counter-Strike Global Offensive, and then see if Counter-Strike 2 shows up on the launch menu, or if you launch Global Offensive, if it shows up in the main menu of the client. That's what I did that eventually got me access. And based upon the tweet I did about this, oh, I'm sorry, the X I did about this, it seems like a lot of people learned they got access by doing just this. So it's worth a try. Thank you folks very much for watching. I'm The World and I still have no closer.